Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Mitchell Pearson. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe and that like button. It'll mean a lot to me. Today we're going to be taking a look at something super cool in this video, which is going to be essentially going to a website, getting data from that website that otherwise would be really, really difficult to do. And so we're going to use a little hidden feature in Power BI, which is called Table from Example. It used to be called, long time ago, it used to be called Web from Example or something along those lines. And this has been a demo that I'm about to show you here today that I've been doing for a long time. It's really cool. I've been wanting to do a YouTube video on it for quite some time. And today, or in this video, whenever it is that you're watching it, this is the time that we finally got it done. So let me kind of show you the, the working up to this real quick. If we go over to our Wikipedia page here, there's a lot of information in this Wikipedia page. And normally what you would do in Power BI is you would say, all right, get data from web. You would take this URL and then you would come through here and you would grab the table that you want. But unfortunately, because of the way that code gets nested inside of code, inside of HTML, and the way that things get barrier, buried in the different elements and all that code type stuff, sometimes it's really, really hard to get stuff. Almost impossible, literally impossible without web from examples. But this feature that I'm gonna show you today, it, it's really, really awesome. And so what I'm gonna do is I not only wanna get this table, but I wanna get these flags. I wanna get those image flags. So we have the flags for each of the different states that we can put into our reports. And once again, without this feature that I'm showing you, this would be significantly more difficult, if not impossible. So let's jump right in here. I'm going to copy out the URL from the top. I'll put the URL in the link of this video below. If I don't, if I forget, because I normally record these a couple weeks in advance, just let me know. Put something in the comments and I'll put it in there. I will apologize profusely, but I'll definitely get it in there. So let me go ahead and jump back over to our Power BI desktop and uh, we're going to connect. So I'll come over here and say get data. We're going to get data from web. This is a uh, very kind of a fan favorite here, right? People love getting data from the web. We'll paste in our URL and then we'll click OK. Normally you would get an authentication window here. You'll just tell it it's, it's public data. It's an anonymous authentication. You don't need any credentials. It's publicly available data. And then we get this navigator, right? And if you're used to Power BI, this navigator is something that's very common when you're connecting to a database, when you're connecting to an Excel file or connecting to the web. But none of these are actually going to have what I want, which is that list of flags and that table. So what we can do is down here at the very bottom, we can use add table using examples. Now I don't, one thing I didn't check before I jumped into this video is I don't know if this is a preview feature still. So it's possible, we'll check at the end of the video if I remember, uh, we can go into file options and settings options and we'll look at preview features. This might actually be a preview feature still. I don't know, it's been quite some time since I've checked, but I'm gonna go ahead and click add table using examples. And this is what we get. Once again, this is very similar to that old, it used to be called web from examples, I think. And so with this here, what I'm gonna do is find the table that I wanna get and I wanna bring into Power BI Desktop. And this is it, this is the table I want. And so let's start off a little bit slow here. The first thing I'm gonna grab is I'm gonna grab the state abbreviation. So I'll type right here, AL for Alabama, AL, and I'll hit enter. Also, you might notice that if you're familiar with this, it looks very similar to column from examples. So we're typing it in. And what happens when I type that in is in the background, Power BI is looking through that HTML and it's finding that specific element. I think that's what it's called. And it brings it in. And once I give it a couple samples, it's able to say, oh, I see exactly where you're trying to go to get this code. So now I'm going to type in Alaska here, AK for Alaska, and hit enter again. And you'll notice that it's now picking it up all the way down for every one of these abbreviations. So that's great. This so far is pretty easy. Now I wanna go ahead and grab the city. So we have the state, I wanna grab the city, so or the capital here. So we got Alabama, Montgomery, Phoenix, Little Rock, Sacramento. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in here, Montgomery. There we go. And we'll go ahead and type in Montgomery and then go down to the next line. And it is filling it in all the way down. So we have our state, we have our city, that was the easy part. How do we get the flag? How do we get that image? Well, you kind of got to know what the name of that image URL is in the background. So this is just a URL. And this requires a little bit of troubleshooting. It trial and error. You just got to take some shots at it. And so what I did 
is when I first did this example is I started just typing in Alabama. And once I got partly through Alabama, I started seeing that here it is. It's a .png file. So I could have tried that, right? We could have tried like .png to see what would get pulled up. Um, but that's not good. That gives me all the flags. And that would, if you grab the wrong flag here, that would be bad. So I'm going to type in Alabama again. And then I'm going to grab this upload link right here for this PNG file. All right, we go down to the next line. Nothing. It's not registering. All right, so we got to give it more than one sample. So now we're going to try Alaska. So I'll type in Alaska here. There it is. We'll do that. Click on the next line. All right, all right, it's looking pretty good. We didn't get everything. So sometimes you have to give it more than one sample. So let's do Arizona. I'm going to come in here and type in Arizona. There it is. Let's see. Let's see. All right. It filled in a few more gaps, right? Still got quite a few missing. So this is just part of it. You got to give it some samples. So now we're going to come down here and let's do Georgia. Click again. And that winds up filling up a lot of them. Now it looks like we have uh, all of them except for three. That's good enough. We don't need to go get the rest of them. Not for this video. You get the point. You go down there, you give it a sample, you find it, and that probably will pick up the other ones. But this is awesome because it's able to dig through all of that HTML code and find it. We're almost done, but this is not everything. Got to wait till the very end to see how we really make this work. I've never done that before. I want to try that. It's like that, you know, make you wait. Uh, but yeah, I got to show you. So let's go and click OK. And then I'm going to transform data because once again, we're not done. So we're going to transform data. That will, of course, bring us into the Power Query Editor. And this is what this looks like. Once again, we had three of them that really weren't done. I probably should have went ahead and just did those. We could go back into the code if we wanted. But what I'm going to do instead is let's go ahead and give this a name. So this will be our state. This will be our city. And then this column right here is actually not complete. You'll notice that at the beginning, it's actually missing the HTTPS. So it's not complete. We need to add that. There's a couple ways we can add it. One is we could be a little bit slick here and I could right click and say replace value and I could replace the double forward slash with HTTPS colon double forward slash. That's one way of doing it. Uh, but I'm actually going to use add column and add column from example because it's very similar, similar to what we were just doing a moment ago with table from example. So it kind of gives you a view at it uh, twice, two times in a row. So I'm going to do column from example under the add column ribbon. And then over here, I'm going to type in what I want. So let me go ahead and grab from that row. I'm going to grab column three here. And then I'm going to go all the way to the beginning. Now I'm going, moving my mouse to the very beginning of that. And I'm going to hard code and type in HTTPS colon. And I'm going to hit enter. And when I hit enter, you notice it fills down. And then right here at the top, it gives us an idea of the code. So it's doing a text.combine operation. It's combining the hard coded value of HTTPS to every row. And then it's adding to that column three, the value of column three, whatever it is. And so that looks great. This is beautiful. So we're going to click OK. We're very happy with that. And now this new merged column is actually going to be our flag. So we'll call that our state flag. And then this old column three, we no longer need it. So we're going to get rid of it. Right click, remove. And this is very good. So we, it's not quite working yet. If you know where I'm going with this, we can't really put this into a table at this point um, without doing one more thing. So we're going to go over to home. We'll hit close and apply. That's going to load our table here. And then we'll go over to a new tab in our Power BI report once this loads. So let's do that real quick. And I'm going to create a table. And in that table, let's grab our state. Let's grab our city. Let's grab our state flag. All right, I was uh, not expecting that. I was expecting data. So for some reason that I could not figure out, the data would not load. I went through, deleted steps, added them back in, loaded it again, the data wouldn't load. So what I did is I kind of reset the example. I deleted the table and I went into transform data. I went into my data source settings. I found that Wikipedia setting right here and I cleared the permission. So I cleared it out, deleted the table, loaded it again, went with the anonymous, and it loaded. So not quite sure what happened there, but that's how I reset it. Didn't want you to have to watch all those troubleshooting steps, so I'm cutting that out, and we're starting back here. But let's go ahead and create that table real quick. We're going to bring in a table right back where we were before. We'll bring in the state. There we go. 
the city, and then the state flag. Now, you'll notice the state flag doesn't quite work. This is what I was talking about before. You gotta kinda wait to the very end to see how do we make that work. Most of you probably know this. This is not new. We're gonna select that state flag by clicking on the name, have that nice little kinda gray background letting you know that it is selected, and then under my column tools, I'm gonna change the data category to image URL because this is, in fact, an image URL. So we'll click on image URL, there we go we have our state flags this is a beautiful thing and that's how you do it table from examples allows you to kind of dig into that html code get some of those items that otherwise would have been impossible to get and now this is just a quick tips and trick video for you hope you like this video if you did once again like subscribe share it with all your friends and until next time have a good week